All right guys, so say you go to throw out a computer or sell it or give it to someone. There are steps you really need to take to make sure that your information on your hard drive is not recoverable. And it's not just as simple as deleting the files or even reformatting the hard drive. You probably already know that if you go to delete a file in Windows, it doesn't actually delete it, it goes into the recycle bin. And then if you delete that out of the recycle bin, it still isn't gone off the hard drive. That's because what Windows does is simply marks that sector on the hard drive as empty, but it doesn't delete the file itself. So that will be still available to certain programs that can recover files until another program comes along and writes over that blank space, thus erasing whatever was on there previously. And the same as when you're reformatting the drive, the drive simply marks all the sectors as blank, but the information is not gone. So you could go back before anything else overwrites it and get that information back if it's not corrupted. So then what can you do to make sure it's completely gone? Well, it really depends on what you're planning to do with the computer. First, let's talk about if you just want to throw it out. Then in that case, the easiest and best way to ensure that it's secure is to just destroy the hard drive platters physically. So what I would do is just put a nail through it with a hammer. This makes sure the platters can never spin again. And even if you took it into a clean room or something, that data is going to be irreparably damaged. Now, if you're selling the computer, I would say just remove the hard drive. But if you are giving away to a friend or something and you need the hard drive to stay in there, there are some things you can do to make sure your information is securely deleted. First, you can use a method that's said to write zeros. This basically is just software that goes through the entire hard drive, writes every single sector as zero. So even if you were to go back in using software to recover deleted files, there's nothing there. It's written as zero, it's blank. So there's no way to get anything back. It takes longer, but that method of formatting is probably the best. It's pretty simple and you're not gonna really get any information back from that. However, if you are really serious about securing your data, like if you think the government's after you or the police, there are some forensic techniques they could possibly use to get back the data if you only do one writing zero format. And that's simply because you theoretically could look at the actual magnetic fields and say, all right, this one looks like it used to be a zero. And there are possibly some algorithms that could go through and maybe recover it. So if that's the case where you absolutely need to make sure 100% that information is never recovered, there is software that will basically not just write over the blank space, but also rewrite over it with random data. So the more it overwrites, the less of the original magnetic field is gonna be distinguishable, if at all, even after one. So there are algorithms out there that will write using different methods. For example, one's called the Gutmann method, which overwrites up to 30 times. And you can be sure that nothing's ever coming back from that. However, most of the methods usually just do at least three overwrites. And there's some studies that show that even after one writing of zero with modern hard drives, you can't recover it at all. So it kind of is overkill. But if you really need that security, then it's probably a good way to go. So that's pretty much the gist of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you ever go to sell hard drive or get rid of it, now you know what to do. So if you found this interesting, definitely give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And if you want to leave a comment down below, I'll be reading those as well. If you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. I think you'll like those. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to look forward to hearing from you in the comment section or on Twitter. I will see you next time. Have a good one.